What's up guys, welcome to the Bluebot Tech Channel. Today we're gonna to be going over how to set up WLED. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what WLED is, it's essentially some code that was developed by a dude named Air Cookie. And what it does is it allows you to transform an ESP8266 or an ESP32 board into a Wi-Fi smart controller to control your LED lights. With that being said, it also has a smartphone app that allows you to configure the LED lights over Wi-Fi. It also has built-in Alexa integration as well, which is pretty awesome. So just before we get started, I want to mention that I have done a bunch of research and used a bunch of other LED controller options. I've used Blink in their companion app. I've used Home Assistant. I've used Fast LED. I've even used the Magic Home Chinese brand Wi-Fi controllers that are about $13 to $18. And I have to say, as soon as I found WLED, I never looked back. WLED has everything that you need. It's super easy to configure and it just works. So in today's video, we're gonna go over how to flash your Node MCU with WLED. We're also gonna go over how to configure WLED and what settings are important. We're gonna create a preset and we're also going to set up a scheduled task. And then finally, we're gonna go over how to integrate WLED with Alexa. And then we're gonna provide some troubleshooting tips as well. And real quick guys, if you're more interested in the hardware aspect of connecting your WLED light strips to a Node MCU, we do have a video that we recently released that covers from start to finish the whole process of wiring up LED strips that provides a nice wiring diagram and just the physical aspect of preparing your LED light strips in general. And I'll provide a link in the description for that video. All right guys, so the first thing you wanna do is go to WLED.me. You'll then scroll down to the releases button and select that. And then the next thing that you're going to be looking for is a pre-compiled binary file for the specific board that you'll be using. Uh, most likely you'll be using an ESP8266 or an ESP32 here. You'll click on the binary file to download it. So the next thing that you're going to do is you'll want to open up a flashing software of your choice. Um, for me, I'll be using ESP Easy Flasher. And what you want to do is move the binary file that you just downloaded into your flashers folder containing the file. And then once that's done, you wanna connect your Node MCU to your PC and open the Flasher program. You should be able to see the COM port for your Node MCU once it's connected to your PC, and then move the binary file that you downloaded into the Flasher's folder. Now, once it's done, you open up the Flasher program and you should see an option to select the COM port that your Node MCU is connected to, as well as the firmware that you moved into the Flasher's folder. Select both of those and hit flash. Once that's done, your Node MCU should boot up in access point mode. And now we're gonna go over how to connect to it and then configure it. All right, so the next step will be to connect to the Node MCU. And by default, this will be placed into access point mode. Um, so to do this, we will open up our Wi-Fi connections on our phone and look for the WLED AP access point and connect to it. All right, so once it's connected, it should automatically pop up the WLED app and allow you to change the Wi-Fi settings to your home Wi-Fi login. All right, so let's go over some important settings real quick. Now the LED preferences settings page allows you to set the number of LEDs in the strip, the maximum current, the LED voltage, and the set color order for the specific strip that you're using. Now here we can adjust the lights timer duration and some additional settings. Now the time and macro settings page allows you to input your time settings, Alexa and button usage presets, as well as set up your schedule for your built-in presets. And we're gonna go over presets in just a little bit. Now on the first colors page, you'll have the color wheel to adjust your LED lights colors, as well as the brightness slider bar. Now near the bottom, you'll see it numbered one, two, and three, and those are your color palettes. Some of the built-in effects will use one, two, or three of these colors pulled from this colored palette, which will give you a little bit more additional control over some of the pre-programmed effects. Now the effects tab is where you'll find a ton of built-in effects, and here you can adjust the brightness, the speed, the effect intensity to give you even more customization of the effects. Here you can see the timer tab. Selecting it will just begin the 60 minute timer until the light turns off. Now the peak tab allows you to see an example of the current effect that is playing on your LED strip. All right, so now we're gonna create our first preset. First, select any effect that you want. For this example, I'll be using the sunrise effect and then go to your favorites tab and click create preset. I'll enter the preset name that you wanna use and make sure you use the current state is checked and choose your save to ID number. 
Now, before we go any further, I just want to say having the use current state unchecked will allow you to enter API commands manually, which will provide you a whole nother level of control over your WLAD lighting effects. And for this tutorial, I'm not going to go into detail on this, um, but please leave a comment in the video if you guys would like to see more details on the API commands. Um, but for now, we'll just leave a link in the description to Air Cookie's API command wiki page, and that contains a number of resources to help get you started down that path. All right, so now that we have a preset created, let's link it to a button and create a schedule routine. First, we need to go back to time and macros and scroll down to the bottom. Here we can link our new presets to a button or a time controlled routine. For this example, I'll link it to the sunrise preset to a button long press. Next, I'll schedule our sunrise preset to start at 6.30 Monday through Friday and 8.30 Saturday and Sunday. All right, so now it's time to set up Alexa with WLAD. First, go to Sync Interfaces Settings page and scroll down to the Alexa Voice Assistant section. Make sure you have Emulate Alexa device checked and enter whatever Alexa invocation name you would like. Now it's time to add our LED device to Alexa. First, go to your Alexa app on your phone, go to Devices, select Add Device, and then select Other. Once you've done that, click the Discover Devices. Now, for me, this process tends to be a little touchy and it doesn't usually like to discover my WLED devices right away. So if yours doesn't identify the device in the first go around, first try discovering devices again. Um, for some reason, the second run seems to have more luck. And if you still don't discover your WLED device, make sure your Alexa is connected to the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi band, as WLED can only connect to the 2.4 you want them to be on the same network. Um, and if that still doesn't work, try power cycling your Alexa and your WLED device. And then once that's done, try discovering the devices again, and it should be good to go. Alexa, turn unicorn lamp off. Alexa, turn unicorn lamp on. Set unicorn brightness to 5%. Alexa, set unicorn brightness to 100%. So that's our video, guys. I hope you liked it. I hope you found it useful. If you want to see more content like this, please leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Um, we're really trying to improve every video that we make, and uh, if we have any input from you guys, that would definitely be helpful. Thank you.